U.S. Air Force new stealth tanker model. Project 9, Air Force Research Lab. The need for more survivable tankers is becoming a pressing issue. The U.S. Air Force's headquarters had started looking at acquiring a stealthy transport plane to make infiltrating hostile areas a safer proposition. Dubbed Project 9. The proposed plane would have filled multiple gaps and shortfalls in existing aircraft such as the Combat Talon, according to the Air Force. The model, which looks like a variation of Lockheed's Speed Agile concept, titled Advanced Aerial Refueling was noticed by Aviation Week Sky Norris in the Air Force Research Labs area at the 2018 Aviation Forum that took place in Atlanta this week. According to Guy, this model also included a flying wing UAV being refueled off its boom. A month ago, another stealthy tanker transport model was displayed by Lockheed at a similar trade show and forum. Clearly, models don't necessarily mean anything definitive, but the appearance of this model now does point to an ongoing interest in the stealth tanker concept if not some kind of program to develop one. And of course, a stealthy tanker transport could have more applications than just pumping gas closer to enemy territory than a traditional airliner-based alternative. The USAF and Special Operations Command may have finally joined forces to develop a stealthy tanker transport. Special Operations Command still relies on low-level penetration tactics to insert Special Operations teams deep into enemy territory. Beyond the stealthy Black Hawks used on the Bin Laden raid, which have limited range and still relied on low-level flying to accomplish their mission, along with reports of enhanced stealth helicopter designs that have followed, there is no other platform that can insert operators onto land over contested airspace. A stealthy transport that flies at jet speeds could provide such a capability and it's not as if the special operations community hasn't been pining for such an aircraft for decades. That was supposed to provide a stealthy, short takeoff and landing transport, at least in an experimental capacity. Another initiative named Special Operations Forces Aircraft, was deeply studied in the late 1980s with Bert Rutten participating in the program. Since then, the Osprey has become operational and does provide an aircraft capable operation and low-level penetration. But something that can provide a higher flying and stealthy alternative that is capable of delivering larger payloads over longer ranges remains highly relevant. While the flying branch didn't have a specific design in mind, it did have very clear requirements for what would be a brand new plane. The aircraft's primary missions would be sneaking commandos into defended territory, bringing them supplies if necessary and then getting them out safely. Crews would be able to do so regardless of the time of day, the temperature or the weather. The plane would even function under chemical, biological or nuclear attack. Most importantly, the new plane would take advantage of low observable technology, in other words, it would be stealthy. There are lessons learned and precedents for such responsibility regarding other specialized aircraft, F-117, B-2, F-22, etc., the report explains. Project 9 will take full advantage of them. But regardless of what exactly is in the works and what remains just a concept, the USAF is becoming ever more focused on their tank of vulnerability problem. Since the US will not invest in longer ranged tactical air power, and especially in unmanned combat air vehicles, UAV at least not on a grand scale, the only other option will be to harden traditional tankers. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.